Hello and welcome to Exotic Ghana UK, Yorkshire Chris Weekly. And in this week's episode, we'll be looking at one of the worst pests that can affect your plants in pots and in the greenhouse, and that is the vine weevil. So the vine weevil, if you don't know what it is, is a type of beetle with like a dull blackish grey uh, sort of outish exoskeleton and it walks quite slowly and gingerly and it doesn't fly at all really and it goes into plants and the grubs, so the larval stage of the, of the weevil, devours roots of mainly potted plants and it will completely decimate the roots and kill the plants before you even know that there's vine weevil grubs in there. And this affects a wide range of plants. It goes, like I said, for potted plants because normally you've got compost and it's much easier for the grubs to get through that mixture compared to garden soil. And it especially goes for things like strawberries and hookahs. It goes for echeverias and it's gone for some of the agaves as well and ioniums in the greenhouse. So it's a problem for me and the actual larvae, they need to be warm for them to be active. So in spring and autumn, they're at the most active when it's soils warm outside in pots in the garden. In the greenhouse, if it's a heated greenhouse like mine, then they can be active all year round. So I've noticed on one of my issue areas, it looked fine and I just touched it and the whole plant was completely loose and I looked and all the roots are completely gone. The vine weevil grubs are in the pot and eating the roots and I just had the rosette sitting on the surface. Luckily with that plant you can re-root it, which I've done just down in the corner, I'll show you that in a second. But to kill vine weevils you've got to really kill the larvae rather than the actual beetles themselves, the adult stage. So to kill the larvae one of the easiest ways is actually to use a nematode. So a nematode is basically very very microscopic small little worm that goes into the compost and soil and looks and searches out through the soil for the grubs of the vine weevils and basically eats and kills them and if you use this nematode regularly so every sort of year or every spring and autumn in pots of plants that stay in those pots then you'll get on top of the vine weevil problem and sort of stop their life cycle and kill them off basically. So you can get various different ones. I've got this one here and its scientific name is Heterohabititis bacteriophora and it comes in a little packet like this which you need to keep in the fridge and it's come from a company called Andermatt UK Home and Garden and it comes through the post like this a small little package and all the details are on the front there of how to use this nematode and then you keep this little sachet in the fridge until you're going to use it and ideally use it as soon as possible. So I'm going to follow the instructions now and I'm going to water it on my potted plants that I'm going to keep in pots throughout the year and I'll also show you some of the damage caused by the, uh, the weevils because the actual weevils themselves do notch away at the leaves of the plants whereas the larvae obviously munch through the roots which you don't see until it's too late. So I'll show you that damage and then we'll follow the instructions and water it on. So like I said this has been kept in the fridge and what you've got to do is get a bucket of water and you need one and a half litres which I've measured out and put into this bucket here and then you open the sachet, it's like a, basically like a powder and obviously put that into the bucket make sure I get all that in so in here I think there's something like five million little nematodes obviously they're very very small so you can't see them but it looks just a bit like something like yeast basically going in here so they're all in and then I'll just give that a little stir with a spoon over here so I'll give that a stir 
stir it really well. So I've got my bucket full of the nematodes and 1.5 litres of water. And then we add a third of this to a watering can. So we'll just pour that in. You might see some black bits in there, that's just a little bit of compost that are on the spoon. Just a little bit more. And then just top this watering can up with some more water. And then we've got the rose on here on the watering can and then we basically go and water all the permanently potted plants and those you think might be affected by vine weevil if you've seen the damage of those in the garden. So this is my echeveria that was growing in a different pot and I noticed one day basically it just moved away and there was no roots at all. I looked in the compost and I could see vine weevil. So luckily with this plant because it's a succulent I basically picked it up from the ground and I planted it in this pot for now with fresh compost completely away from the vine weevil and I threw away the old compost with the vine weevil grubs so it's fine to do that with plants like this so you can move without many roots but obviously most plants need their roots all the time and effective way of getting rid of that is using the nematode so I'm going to go around now and actually use the solution and water it all over my permanently potted plants. So now it's just a matter of watering the potted plants. And these aeoniums and agaves are the ones, or oh, we're close to one of the pots where the echeveria was, where the vinyl weevils were. So by watering all this in, we will make sure we break up the life cycle of any vine weevils, any grubs of vine weevils in these pots and it's as simple as that. Right that's all watered on. I've used the rest from the bucket there and all the plants are nicely watered and the important thing now is basically to keep that soil nice and moist for at least two or three weeks just so the nematodes can go in and do their thing and kill off any vine weevil larvae and just continue the process every sort of spring and autumn or just once a year just to keep on top of any vine weevils that may have got into the compost. So if you would like some of these nematodes, there's a discount code in the description below and more details about the company. And thank you for watching this edition of Exotic Gardening UK. Join me next week where we'll be doing more in the garden.